Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW 3 Series, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2-litre 320D SE automatic, Euro 6, 2015 on a 15 plate, has done 85,532 miles. Fuel economy, urban 56.5 miles per gallon, extra urban 74.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 67.3 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 143 miles per hour out of 187 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Very, very economical car, lovely to drive, um, quiet, smooth, good color combination too. It's, I'm not completely sure of the, the, the color. Let, let's call it Mauritius blue metallic. <laughs> it, it won't be that, but it's as good as anything. It's got black leather inside as well. It's got kind of the triple spoke design alloy wheels. Hey sheep, come on out the way. Go on. Bloody sheep. Front parking sensors and the, the nice BMW grill. I was at a car show last Saturday and, and all you can see is this huge grill now. They, they seem to have lost the way a little bit. When you think of what the old BMWs used to look like, you know, the old 2002s and the 8 Series and, and, and you know, just, just, just a, a lovely design. Like this, it's, it's a nice car, looks great. De-chromed around the windows, the black trims, rear privacy glass, shark fin aerial. Spoilers kind of built into the boot there. Very, very discreet. Reversing camera just there. Nice aperture to load your luggage in and it goes way back there. It's, uh, there's, there's plenty of room in there. We've got reversing sensors just at the back there. Now you, you kind of drop into this, the seats are quite low down and uh, there's plenty of room in it, plenty of headroom, really nice finish, carpet mats, uh, the leather upholstery, um, nice high seat backs, no need to put the, the headrests up there in just the right position, so ideal for an adult in here. I've got my seat pretty well forward, just, just so as I can get in without anything breaking. But it, it's lovely and comfortable. So the, the three inertia reel rear seat belts, armrest here, cup holder, or two, uh, twin cup holders there. The Isofix rear Chelsea tanker points. Um, nice, nice design. The seat backs are, are kind of hollowed out where you, your legs would go. Just give you a little bit more room. Um, lovely car, lovely car. Let's go for a ride. Car's fairly low down. That's the uh, BMW key. It is keyless ignition, so so long as you've got the key on you, just press that. Just above the start stop button, there's the auto stop start off, which you knock it off, it's, uh, they're, they're a pain. Let's see, we've got the aircon on. Just tell you the service history. So, 9th of 2nd, 2017, at 16,273 miles, BMW main dealer. 9th of 7th, 2018, at 22,263 miles, BMW main dealer. 18th of 4th, 2019, 31,002 miles. Um, I'm not sure about the rest of the service history. So that's, that's strange. So we'll we'll have it done before it goes out. There's no Northwest Autocare sticker on, so um, I'm assuming we're going to have it done. Um, let's just check actually. So if we go into menu here, 
and go down to vehicle information, onto vehicle information, vehicle status there, and then so tyres, engine, measure engine, service requirements, check control, service requirements. So it's showing overdue, I think, for a vehicle inspection, so we'll get that done. Rear brake pads, brake fluid, front brake pads, they're all okay, but service history. So that's the, uh, that that's, must be where John's got the service history from. It's all recorded on here. It's a stupid idea, really, just BMW main dealer. I mean, you don't know who serviced it until you, unless you, you ring up or, or get a printout. So, nice car anyway. Beautiful day up here. We'll just reversing camera there, so you've got front and rear parking sensors and a reversing camera. The, um, when I come up here, I quite often see a, a young lady um, running there's a lovely family live down there they all let on to me and uh, as to how far she'd run this morning she said 10k she was going to do 12 but it's too hot and then i thought oh 10k couldn't blame me you know <laughs> kill me now i'm out of breath just walking around the car but then i remembered uh, when I was her age once, I, I went out on the Sunday morning, ended up in a, a club at night, on the Sunday night, met some friends, went back to uh, his house, playing pool all night, and, uh, and then from his house, about six o'clock Monday morning, I ran to work, and that, that was probably about 10k, so don't get old, it's not good. Back to the car, drives fantastic, very economical, and, it, and I mean, if, if you want, if you want a car that's not going to cost you a lot of money, then I would say a BMW is uh, a, a good choice, especially something like this, okay, not, not an electric car, it's, you can fill it up as and when you want, and the, and the miles per gallon, it's really incredible. You, you don't really get any better than this, I don't think. It's great specification. We've got, that's the cruise control. Just set it there. Just gonna be going over a little, uh, I can't see anything coming. So we'll give them a wide berth. And over the cattle grid. Yeah, right, cruise control, there you go, that's cruise control on. You can increase the speed, like so, or decrease it like that. You can cancel it touching the brake, or knocking it off there, and then you've got limit, so you can, you can set the speed limit you want, which is, you know, neither use nor ornament. Nice front central armrest, and. In there we've got auxiliary in and a USB, and you've got your BMW iDrive, your eye control. So your touch screen there, or, sorry, you, your display screen there. And you go use that from here. You've got your sat nav, click on nav. And it's the, I think that's the pro uh, sat nav, so it's the wide screen. If you knock over here, you can, you can have a split screen like so, click on that goes back and then you can you can decide what you're going to have on the, the split screen or split screen content there we go arrow view map orientated map perspective we'll do that so there we go we've got the same <laughs> we've got I managed to pick the same screen but we'll go back knock knock the split screen off and then we just got one. Dead easy to use. And the good thing is, you don't have to take your eyes off the road. You can do it, it's in your peripheral vision, whatever you're, 
whatever you're changing on here. There's also I'm going around certain death corner and here we go. Changing the sat nav. He's obviously not heard of the old uh, Marco Polo or beep beep. So on to media there. That's uh, a book I'm listening to at the moment. Even though I was sure my heart rate was going through the roof. There you go. Great sound system. And it, it, it is all it is all nice. It's very German engineering, understated. I do like prefer this set out. I do like buttons. I like things that click and turn and you you know like that. Click, 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 click. That's like you see somebody in a film opening a safe and listening, <laughs> listening to the clicks. Well, that, that's good. You can feel it. Then over here, here we go. If I click that, that goes into sport. You see it immediately kicks down, makes the throttle more responsive. Click it back into comfort and then into Eco Pro. So that's where you get your best miles per gallon. It's a kind of regen system on the dash in the centre in the information display. I'm just going to stop in a minute. I don't really need to stop, but people love to give me aggravation on in the comments. Right, I've, I've stopped. I'm going to move the steering wheel now. If I can find it, there you go. So I'm going to move the steering wheel down so I can see that display at the bottom. It will go in and out. Blimey, that comes out a long way. So it will go in and out too. So it's height and reach adjustable steering wheel. In the display in the center there, it's telling me the outside air temperature, which is 20.5 at the moment. And then there's a little blue fuel pump symbol. And at the moment it's saying plus 0, 0.0 miles. Over here, it's showing you charge and power used. At the moment I'm using power. As soon as I let my foot off the accelerator, it goes into charge. So that's storing energy uh, and it, it'll supplement the power later when, when you need it. But you can actually gain miles per gallon or, or gain range really. At the end of a at the end of a trip you see it's got plus seven miles or something and you think oh well I've I've saved the planet a little bit. On the right hand side is your mode switch. Oh, I'll just switch that off actually. I don't want to uh, lose He my... called back to Guy. I don't want to lose my place. Volume control, your phone answer control. It's got Bluetooth hands free as I say Bluetooth audio streaming. Just a nice car, nice car to drive. All this nice design, brushed aluminium, matches the dash, the door handles here and round the vents. The air con is pretty good, pretty icy. We've got a squirrel in the road here. Go on, hey, move. Because it's not for moving. Come on, away. God, what is it? Squirrels and sheep. Get out the road. There we go. <laughs> I'm the squirrel and sheep monitor today. Frontier, well, right, gear selector here. Park on the top there. Nice design. If we knock that over there, change down or up like so, using it as a kind of a manual.
we're already showing plus 0.1 miles that we've gained. Put it back in drive. Drive is good for me. Put the nav back on so you can see where we are. The seat's nice and comfortable. The there we go. Up and down adjustment. I'll just I can move forward. There you go, that's a bit better for me. A bit lower down. Back rest is here as well. The reach adjustment is down here to the left, a handle, but all nice and simple. Electric window controls here, electric door mirror control, just move that, yep, that's all working, knock that across to the passenger side, so all, all that's good. You know, you, you buy an electric car, if, you, if you're going to buy a second-hand electric car, you buy an electric car, and then you probably have to have a home charging point, which is about a thousand quid. You can buy a lot of, a lot of fuel for a thousand pounds. I think it's about six pound 40 a gallon at the moment. Uh, and in this, doing 50, 60 miles to the gallon, just your charger. Um, I would think it's kind of a no-brainer. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of people who disagree with me, but there you go. foot off the accelerator now we're back into charge and we're showing plus 0.4 miles and that's an eco pro it gives you it encourages you to, to drive sensibly so you can imagine what you do throughout the life if you, of, of the car if you did that if we've already gained 0.4 miles just in such a short distance Dakota leather. It feels thick as well. You know these uh, again these these vegan leathers that they come out with. Supposed to be saving things, but then after about eighteen months, it starts cracking. You have to have it replaced. seats here your climate control it's dual climate control so you can set the temperature either side just here you've got kind of an oddments tray that shuts down there over the ashtray stroke power supply and then here you can pull that off and underneath is uh, two cup holders which is you know cup holders in cars always look nasty they always end up with dust in the bottom or coffee or uh, you know <laughs> boiled sweets <laughs> okay. 
boiled sweets that the kids spat out. <laughs> so uh, you've got a nice cover for it there. One point five miles now. So steering wheel's real nice design. And it's it's fun to drive, I would say. Fun's better than functional. into here you've got options so that clicks up the split screen side of it just go back and then at the front here you've got menu navigation telephone contacts connected drive settings into settings your control display time and date sound speed climate now let's see what's in climate, climate there. Now, I'm not sure about that. That looks like it may have timed climate. Now, we're not going to get anywhere here. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Can we get anywhere? in place anywhere expertly done I <laughs> mind you I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be going on the edge there like a, an accident waiting to happen. Eco Pro mode. So Eco Pro limit, 75 miles an hour. Eco Pro climate control, coasting. So it's got coasting on, and that's something I do quite a lot. It's it's a hyper hyper miling technique to get the most mileage out of your car. Instead of braking for traffic lights, and you, you anticipate them, you anticipate the lights. Just let your foot off the accelerator and, and coast. Quite often I put the car in neutral if it's a manual gearbox and everybody says, oh, you shouldn't do that, what have you? Well, if you're coming up to... Uh
<laughs> remember to cut that bit out. Yeah, so uh, hypermalian and coasting. BMW and Mercedes-Benz build it into the car and coasting is switch, switched on then. Apparently it takes 60% of a car's energy just to push air out of the way from the front of it. So that same air will slow you down, wind resistance. What's the point of using your engine braking, putting wear on components of your engine, using your brakes, your dish, your pads, wearing all that out, wearing your tyres, creating more friction on the tyres, when you can just use uh, a bit, bit of common sense and uh, wind resistance to slow you down. So BM have obviously built it in, they've realised that I've, I'm on the right track and they've uh, copied me. Anyway, it's a lovely car, um, nice, we actually had it washed yesterday, but um, they didn't do such a good job of leathering it, so it's not as shiny as it should be, but it's it's a nice car. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.